What's up guys, Reptile Road here. In this video, I wanna go over how you can read your turtle's shell. Kind of like as an indicator of overall health. A good indicator of, of a turtle's health is what their shell looks like and how it feels. So, um, and plus there's a little, you know, a few myths um, and urban legends about being able to tell your turtle's age based on the number of rings on their shells, kind of like trees. So I just want to kind of go over that. Um, I am not by any means an expert. Um, a lot of this information I've just read about online and also from personal experience. So I'm not claiming that I know everything. Um, there's a lot of good information available by very experienced turtle keepers that have kept thousands of all different types of species. So I'm not saying I'm an expert, um, but just some of the things that I've experienced um, firsthand with having my turtle, um, as well as just reading about it online. My turtle, she is a rescue. I rescued her uh, from a pet store um, because she got shell rot really, really bad. Life-threatening shell rot and because it was left untreated for so long. But, you know, with shell rot, you know, it's really hard to get rid of it. The only thing that can fix it when it gets really bad is shots of Batril. She has had shell rot for, I don't know, maybe almost a year. I've had her for around seven or eight months or so, and she had it six months before I got her because it was so bad, first of all, it was such a bad case of shell rot because it was left untreated that it's just taken so long for it to, um, to heal and to get better. Her shell rot is definitely in, still in the process of healing. It's improved. Um, there's just like a few areas. I think the shell rot is still somewhat present. I'm, st I'm not treating her with an antibiotic like Batril right now um, because it's really not that, it's not bad. I'm just treating her with chlorhexidine and an antibiotic ointment. Really, you know, in general, like her shell rot is vastly improved, it's practically non-existent, like lice or something for turtles. It's like a hard to get rid of, you know, where even, even if all of your other, like your husbandry and all that is perfect, like it can still take a while to completely heal. When you see her, you will see where her plastron is scarred for life from the amount of shell rot she had. So, you know, once again, I'm not an expert on any of this. Um, just some things I've experienced and try to clear up some myths. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, rate this video, comment down below, let me know what you think, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in a minute. This is Truffles. She is an African side neck turtle, also known as an East African mud turtle. So you could see all of the scarring on her plastron is a result of the shell rot that she had. Um, it was originally, before I got her, like all of this area was just black which is really bad. Um, so that's like one of the first things I guess you could talk, we could talk about, about reading a turtle shell is if you start to notice white spots that are squishy um, or black spots that are squishy, then, or green spots, then you may need to, you know, get that taken care of right away, um, take her, you know, take your turtle to the vet because it could be shell rot and shell rot is either a bacterial infection or a fungal infection um, due to a number of different things. Um, it could be due to not having a proper basking area, it could be due to um, 
poor water quality. Shell rot is also extremely contagious, um, so your turtle could get it from another turtle that has shell rot or something, so you never know. So those are some things to look at. Um, you know, I said that she's still in the process of recovering from shell rot. Um, so pretty much when you read a turtle shell, a good indicator of their health as well is if <laughs> is if you can run your fingers, oh, she hates that. If you like can run your fingers down their your, their shell, able to peel anything off of your turtle shell that isn't a normal shell shed per se, um, like big chunks where exposed bone, um, that's definitely an indicator of shell rot and something you need to take notice with your vet. Um, so pretty much if you run your fingers and you're able to pick off pieces of shell and there's exposed bone, then that is an indicator of poor water quality, um, improper basking area, and it spreads too. So once they get it in one spot, it'll keep spreading and spreading and spreading. So it started here on her plastron, and then it was pretty much like working its way up to the carapace. And you can see like this is a, a spot where she had the shell rot on her scutes. And this is also a spot where she had shell rot on her scute. So, you know, so definitely looking over your turtle shell really well to look for any signs like white spots, green spots, black spots. Any discoloration of the shell anywhere needs to be taken care of and researched and um, fixed. Other ways to read your turtle shell is um, you can see these lines. Um, these lines, people thought, <clears throat> were kind of like trees, uh, rings on tree trunks, um, that each line represented a year of its growth and that you can um, determine a turtle's age based on um, the lines on their shell. But research now shows that that is absolutely not true. Um, People have had turtles that didn't develop any rings for a year. People have had turtles where they developed more than one ring in a year. So essentially, reading a turtle turtle's rings is not a good indicator of its age. But what it does indicate, though, is if they've had a lot of rings grow in a year, it does indicate a growth spurt. And a growth spurt is the result of a lot of food, you know, so when there's a lot of food available, they will grow. So the rings around their shells just, it really indicate just growth spurts, periods of growth. Um, if they didn't grow any rings uh, that year, or very few rings, that can indicate a food shortage. So they didn't really have very much food that year to grow. So those are the things that you can read from a turtle shell in terms of age. Um, is just simply just growth spurts. So the way I see it is with the myth, you, you would probably say that this is a year, this is a year, this is a year, and this is a year. Really, this is a growth spurt, this is a growth spurt, this is a growth spurt, and this, this is a growth spurt. Now since I've had her, when I first got her, she was where this line is right here on her scoot, um, that was how much smaller she was. Since I've had her, she has literally grown that much. A common thing that both turtles and tortoises get um, is shell pyramiding, which is just a shell deformity uh, where the turtle or tortoise is growing at such a rapid rate that the scoots begin to pyramid up. And I'm not saying that my turtle is perfect, um, but I do try to watch what she eats, um, especially trying not to feed her foods that are high in protein. Um, but as you can see, her shell is relatively smooth. The scoots aren't raised up too terribly much. So those are 
Just a few of the ways that you can read your turtle's shell to gauge their overall health. And it's just very important to examine your turtle's shell on a daily basis. Take them out of their tanks, dry them off, look over their shell to check for any abnormalities. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you next time.